Greetings, Raven. Thank you for accepting this commission, and welcome to Kuamar. For the past 20 years, it has been controlled by two people, President Omar al-Bakr and his wife, Bibi Rashida. Their regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere. Till now. We have actionable intel Kuamar is planning an offensive against a neighboring state. A war here is unacceptable. It will disrupt the whole region, inflating global oil prices. The conflict was triggered by the assassination of President al-Bakr. His wife has taken power, but her grip is weak. Some within her government resent both her gender and Western education. However, she's supported by a close network of warlords. They provide troops and weaponry to Rashida, reinforcing her control and preventing open revolt. The regime is financed by the hacker and crypto anarchist, Lars Hellström. Wanted by multiple agencies, he threatens governments, rigs elections, and holds corporations to ransom. Together, they are the masterminds behind this offensive. We need you to shut them all down. We also have a friendly in country, Taj Tahir, a journalist and the son of one of Russia's few political opponents. He disappeared after being arrested on espionage charges. Find him. Kumar's terrain is both arid and mountainous, so getting close to a target may not be possible. We know you're a long shot specialist, so this shouldn't be a problem. Your new gear should help, especially the prototype visor. It has an enhanced battlefield display and a direct comms link to me. Rashida and her allies cannot be allowed to ignite the region. Her war must be stopped. I'll be in touch. How's the heat there, Raven? It's time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. It's equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We'd prefer it if you didn't break them. I'll run through their features on our live fire range. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. Roger that, Control. Take a prone position to stabilize your base. We need to switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. A target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Splash this target. Aim for the head. Go for the next one. Next target, your 12, 300 meters. 
I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed and direction in your head, but we've saved you some time. Adjust for range and use the bullet drop curve to line the shot up. Check the distance and wind direction. Go for a headshot. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Miss. Double check your scope. The elevation setting needs to match the marked range to target. Good. Splash four more now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope. Excellent. First target down.
Not bad. One more to go. Your scope is zeroed now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head to the door behind you. Move through the door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. First up, Falcon Drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. Upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. That interference is caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. Auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command.
Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate that now. Focus on the hostiles you tagged with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is separate from your binocular tagging. Exit binocular mode. Command the turret to fight. You're done with gear familiarization. One thing I should mention, you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for overwatch, or use it to execute simultaneous shots, if needs be. Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. That's all the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back.